Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Rishabh Jain and in this video we'll discuss what is the ranking of various central institutes in radiology which you should consider while filling your preferences for this INICT counselling. In this video, I'll discuss what, is, what are the various points which you should consider before taking up radiology in a particular institute and later on I'll, del, uh, I'll do a deep dive into the radiology in each and every institute according to what I've gathered from uh, my seniors and juniors at this, these places. So let's get started. So, at the outset, a brief introduction about me. Uh, I had, uh, I'm a 2012 batch Amesonian from Ames, New Delhi, and I'm currently pursuing my senior residency in radiology from Ames, New Delhi. Uh, I did my MD in radiology from PGI Chandigarh, and I secured an All India Rank Seven, uh, All India Rank Four in Ames PG in 2018, and a Rank Eleven in PGI Chandigarh in July 2018. So, uh, at the outset, let's just get into the uh, rank. So. Uh, according to me, the ranking should be the, uh, Ames New Delhi at first, followed by PGI Chandigarh, Jipmer, which is almost equal to Ames Jodhpur. I'll discuss about this a little more. Then Ames Bhuneshwar, Ames Rishikesh, Ames Bhopal, Ames Raipur, Ames Patna. I think all, all these three last three come uh, all together. And uh, the third generation names that have just come up in this counseling, uh, namely uh, BB Nagar, Batinda, Mangalgiri. Uh, the courses have just started and I frankly do not have many any insights into what these courses are and so I haven't included these in this uh, video. So uh, what things according to me you should consider before joining radiology in these institute is number one is modality. So radiology is a machine based speciality and your learning will eventually depend upon what are the modalities available in your institute and hence what all scans can uh, happen in your institute. Second is academics. So radiology unlike other specialities requires you to read a lot of things. So you as a radiologist you are required to know things from head to toe of almost all specialties uh, in medicine and hence a lot of reading is required. And hence if your program has a very good academic structures in the form of seminars, case discussions, radio conferences, clinical radiological rounds. So your learning is greatly uh, enhanced by all these. So number three is TAG. TAG, uh, like any speciality, helps a lot in your career and especially radiology uh, because radiology across various, various institutes vary, vary, uh, vary quite a lot. So number four uh, is toxicity and uh, in general, before choosing any speciality, you should consider this because you will spend you will be spending three years of your uh, time in that particular institute and three years of intensive hard working time and so you would want to work at a place in which your mental level is at peace because you would be required to coordinate and delve into a lot of things. So at number five, uh, I've considered IR exposure and I've kept IR exposure at number five for a deliberate reason because as a radiologist and as an MD radiologist, you should focus on diagnostic and improving your diagnostic capabilities because diagnostic radiology is the bread and is the basis of an intervention radiology. So if you are good in diagnostic radiology, you'll automatically be good in intervention radiology. Number six, I've kept as location. Location like uh, location should be a criteria for you if you are considering uh, taking speciality at any place because you will be spending again three years of your life and you should have a good social life. You should be able to go out and enjoy with your friends. You should be able to spend good time in good restaurants and like visit places. So location should be your sixth criteria. So uh, this is the whole. This is the overall summary of my video and. Like I have given it at the outset that you should consider this, these colleges and these criteria to consider. And so if you want to stay with me in this video, so bear with me a little longer because this will be a little lengthy video. I'll, I'll do a deep dive into all the centered institutes and how radiology is at these, at these places. A brief disclaimer that uh, my first hand knowledge of radiology in central institutes is only of two places. I've been to PJ Chandigarh where I did my MD and I'm currently in currently in Ames New Delhi where where I'm doing senior residency. So my knowledge of these two places are first hand. I have personal experience of uh, radiology in these two places. For the rest, uh, I have a lot of my seniors and juniors who are who are doing or have done the radiology at these places, and uh, hence I have gathered knowledge about these 
from those people and their perspective so it is also a very reliant reliable knowledge but it is not my first hand knowledge and for places like uh, raipur patna and the third generation aim that are coming up so i don't really have any contact in these places and so my knowledge of these places will be little limited so at first at rank 1 we have aims new delhi and i'll just be blunt about it and tell you at the, at the outset that it is one of the best programs in radiology in the world i would go on to say it's in the world because it has been structured in that way so amongst modalities uh, i've given it 9.5 out of 10 just because uh, just because of intervention because aims new delhi does not have all the intervention as far as tumor ablations are concerned a and uh, b because uh, aims new delhi has a separate dm course for neuro radiology and cardiac radiology so the exposure in neuro radiology and cardiac radiology during your md is a little limited intervention again i have given uh, apart from all these it has like the top class cts top class mrs the best of the best uh, ultrasound x ray machines and the best of the best dsa machines but in i've just given it 9.5 in modalities and intervention because tumor ablations uh, as far as uh, tumor ablations are concerned aims new delhi has a microwave ablation and rf ablations and uh, they are yet to acquire cryo ablations and irreversible electroporation i mean if you don't understand any of this it's fine but it, it just it's just important that they don't have all the modalities of intervention in radiology as far as pj pj chandigarh is considered so pj chandigarh i would say ranks 10 out of 10 in intervention and in terms of modalities because they have all the available modalities that are present in india currently as far as intervention is considered and uh, pj chandigarh also has a cardio neuro radiology program dm neuro radiology integrated into the same department so as a jr you get to rotate in neuro radiology and cardiac radiology they don't have a separate cardiac radiology dm but cardiac ct and cardiac mrs are done by the same department so they have a, a neuro cardiac exposure during their md okay so with regards to toxicity aims delhi i would say it is a very rare institute in which it's a very rare program in india in which uh, which is not toxic in which the faculty are the best of the best in the country and which has a, such a good clinical exposure so aims delhi is not at all toxic in my uh, opinion and this makes it the best program for radiology in the country by by far uh, in terms of academics n- nothing beats aims delhi in terms of academics let me tell you it has uh, so as a jr you have free, you have academics daily for two hours in the form of seminars case discussions clinical radiological conferences journal clubs Uh, faculty classes senior resident classes and so there's a lot and lot of passive learning that you as a jr will get in the department if you do your residency in aims new delhi obviously it has the best tag in the country and if you are a radiologist from aims delhi everybody knows uh, what knowledge that you've gained in this in in your residency again location it scores 10 on 10 according to me because delhi is a nice place to live and spend your residency there is a very good social life there are very good restaurants there are very good pubs if you want to experience and so in my opinion i would uh, give it 59 out of 60 so at second place just a little behind is pgi chandigarh and as i have already said uh, it has one of the best intervention programs in the country and it has a very good neuro intervention exposure in the residency itself because as i told neuro radiology program is done by the same department in terms of toxicity yes as it is pretty common knowledge that pgi is toxic and i won't deny the fact it is a little toxic and it gets to you sometimes academics as far as i've con- uh, considered it is not as good as aims new delhi but it is pretty good and you have cases you have classes almost daily <coughs> in the form of uh, case of the week case discussions seminars jcs and uh, various clinical radiological conferences as well and especially i w- would want to uh, highlight the fact that uh, pj has something called cytology radiology rounds in which whatever fnas you do for that week uh, the sr has to present it uh, on friday 
in the morning and so as a radiology the whole department comes in that those rounds and all the interesting cases whose fna have been done you get a histological confirmation of what your diagnosis was and what it eventually came out so that is like a very good passive learning in terms of tag pj chandigarh has a very good tag not as good as him but it has a pretty good uh, tag for uh, radiology uh, in india and if you are a radiology from pj chandigarh people recognize what you are capable of location again 10 on 10 chandigarh is according to me the best city in india to live amazing roads hygiene air quality good social life nice restaurants and uh, little bit traffic it has increased recently but i think 10 on 10 for terms of location so at number 3 uh, there is jip it's jipmer so jipmer also has all the modalities i have given it 9 because no, not the same quality and number as compared to uh, aims new delhi and pgi uh, intervention i have given 8 because as an md uh, you don't get to do a lot of stuff in intervention uh vascular interventions are mostly done by faculties and uh, assisted by srs and as a jr you mostly do non vascular interventions yeah and one more thing that aims delhi and pgi chandigarh are one of the few institutes in the country in which as a jr also you get to uh, assist and do some steps of uh, vascular intervention and which is i think not so common in other places okay so in terms of toxicity uh, jipmer is not toxic and academics have given it seven because what i have uh, heard from my sc juniors at these places is uh, that uh, daily classes happen in the morning cave discussions are done by jrs in which they present ctmr and interesting x-rays but a lot of teaching is not initiated by the faculty and your your uh, learning in uh, jipmer is predominantly based on your senior jrs and their knowledge which they pass on so in terms of tag jipmer has a, a very good tag and it's a central institute since a long time people know about jipmer and in terms of location it's it depends so if you are someone who belongs uh, from north india so going to jipmer will be a very cultural shock for you and you might not like it it gets a little lonely if you are let's say only north indian out of Uh, or toward there are two only two or three north indians in the whole department and so that can sometimes make you feel a little lonely and this is something i have heard from my juniors there and so uh, you might rate it six but if you are like from tamil nadu if you are uh, uh, like from down south so it might be a very good location for you so it depends uh, on where are you, where you are from and hence i would say your choice between jipmer and jodhpur would depend upon where you belong from so at aim at number 4 i have kept uh, aims jodhpur and this is this has one of the uh, one of the very good departments of radiology in the country and rapidly growing up so in modality it has all the major modalities and uh, intervention it has a very good intervention program recently it has started dm intervention radiology as well under sir pushpendra khera sir and uh, all the modalities are all from head to toe they do all interventions which is again a rare Uh, intervention radiology program uh, in the country which does head to toe interventions toxicity as far as i have uh, known it's not toxic uh, faculty are very welcoming academics uh, i've uh, heard that uh, academics are good the classes happen daily there are uh, seminars general clubs case discussions uh, which uh, happen uh, in the which happen in the week and as far as tag is considered it since it's one of the emerging uh, uh aims it the brand value is not as good as aims delhi pj or jipmer but there are a lot of uh, my srs who have done their md from aims jodhpur and are currently doing a sashi in aims delhi so in in interview as well uh, faculty prefer the md from uh, aims jodhpur uh, uh, for their sashi so it is a build, it is a very good upcoming Uh, second second generation names and in, in my opinion the best second generation name that is coming up location uh, jodhpur i've given 8 because it's not the location is not as good as delhi or chandigarh in my opinion jodhpur is a second tier city and uh, the quality of life the social life it's less than uh, chandigarh and delhi so i've given it 8 so uh, at number 5 where we have aims bhubneshwar they have all uh, the modalities as far as they have all a ct mr ultrasound x-rays 
yeah so at the outside i would say that all almost all ini's are good in the aspect that they have all the modalities so modalities ki we really don't have to worry uh, maybe the difference is the number of number of cities and mrs that are there in these institute but as a resident it won't matter to you much if all uh, modalities are present intervention as far as considered i've given it 8 because it has recently started one of our senior srs from aims delhi has joined as a faculty in aims bhubaneswar and he started doing intervention radiology there toxicity it is uh, it is not toxic that's what i have heard the faculty is very friendly and since it was one of the aims that started that had the initial md radiology program so they are very friendly with the residents academics uh, what i've heard at academics is uh, so so not not a lot of uh, initiation by the department uh, in terms of the number of seminars classes case discussions or clinical uh, rounds that clinical conferences that they conduct and the tag it is a com- upcoming uh, second generation aim so a tag is slowly and slowly building up uh, location again bhubaneswar is a very good city to live in it is a planned city and like with like chandigarh and uh, it is a very nice city to live in at number 6 Uh, we have aims rishikesh and again they have all the modalities but in in terms of intervention they have uh, recently started uh, they have a intervention radiology fellowship and intervention radiology program but the again most of the interventions are done by uh, faculties and sr and as a jr you don't get much exposure in ir other than just observation toxicity i have heard this is i have heard from uh, many people and now <coughs> across speciality that aims rishikesh is a little toxic i don't know why is that and but almost everybody is said uh, that aims rishikesh is toxic and i think you should consider this point especially if you are choosing aims rishikesh because you do not want believe me a toxic uh, residency in your life academics uh, i think not as good as other aims uh, the classes and uh, seminars and jcs are less frequently tag again it's slowly and slowly building up and location it depends so if you are someone who likes to live uh, in mountain so rishikesh is very nice place in which jahan se bahut sare hill stations and play, uh, baki nice places are nearby but again if you are someone who is used to hustle and bustle of city so rishikesh would feel a little secluded to you and so uh, up next after rishikesh uh, it's aimed bhopal raipur and patna and i'll be frank i don't have much insights into the radi- into the radiology programs as uh, in these institutes and so my knowledge of these institutes is a little limited and i think all the uh, out of these last three in bhopal is likely better than aims raipur and patna uh, in terms of modality and teaching experience because in the module as well uh, they have five seats and aims patna and raipur have three and two seats respectively so uh, this is the list of inis uh, radio- radiology programs in various inis in this coming session and uh, i hope this w- video was useful to you if you have any other queries you can uh, comment uh, in the comment section and i'll be happy to reply and uh, so good luck for uh, the upcoming counseling i i hope it should start in a few days and if you like the content that i am making do do support me by liking this video and subscribe to my channel thank you